Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today, let's model um, stairs. Okay, so could you please help model stairs and railing? Okay, so basically, um, I think this is quite simple stairs. So, um, so let's try to model this. So, um, okay, so let's start. So first, we need to create a project. Okay. So uh, stairs. So go to architecture. So um, before we model stairs, usually we uh, will well, we need to know the levels. So at least we need to know the the height difference between the levels. Um, so what we're going to do is so let's go to elevation and okay so we have two levels okay so let's have a look um, so this is in this image it is uh, it's, it's a roughly three meter between them so maybe we, we, we can just change this to you know uh, exactly the same um, same height and so from here so one to ten uh, 20 steps okay so so let's go to floor plan Okay, so usually uh, you, uh, you you model the stairs in the level um, where these stairs start with. So so go click on stairs. So and also um, before we start, so let's edit a, a type. So these are some settings. So you can see this maximum riser, a a minimum tread steps. So these are some settings or um, default setting and default. Uh, depending on the uh, local um, uh, regulations, uh, this you sh you sh you can you should probably change this one to match your local uh, code. Okay, so uh, I'll just leave it as it is, um, and I'm going to so, so you can see once we we change the level so. Um, the default settings from le uh, level zero to level one and two, nine, five, and auto uh, really will automatically calculate the number uh, depending on the minimum, uh, uh, sorry, maximum rise height. So, for example, this one. Uh, so what we have is eighteen tr um, riser, and also each one is one sixty or one six three point nine. Okay, um, and this is a slightly different to this one because this one looks like very uh, very low steps. Um, so with that one, so as you can see, two nine five zero. If I go uh, type in two nine five zero divided divide by twenty, so this will give us a one forty seven, which is very uh, low steps. So if you re if you 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 want to model. Um, to match exactly match, uh, this one, so what we can do is we can that one option is we can go to edit type to reduce this, the size of this height. So 170. So if for example if I type in 160 and OK and Revit, see so you can see Revit will automatically uh, change the number for this one. But you can also type in. You don't worry about this. So you can type in a number you need. So for example 20 and will give us this number okay so now let's uh, draw start to draw and also another option is the width of uh, these stairs um, here here so so for this exercise uh, I'll just leave it as it is 10, so one meter and then first you what you need to do is you need to draw half so if I look at this one so 10 Okay, so just drag this one. So just check the number on, uh, at this corner. So ten rider, riser, sorry. And then um, you we need to return. Don't worry about the landing because it will automatically create a landing for you. And also depending on, um, so go up. Yeah, it looks like just along with that corner. Uh, depending on some, um, I think some in. Um, some regulation we need to have one tread, you know, start uh, from this this point. But yeah, if we want to match that um, the stairs in this image, 
we can do this but I'll just start from here so I'll just draw roughly start from here and also you can have the option to use either uh, center or left and right okay so if you use left you can just start you know I could do it like here okay so you can but you can always move the round after you so for example after you after you finish uh, pl placing this round so you can just so we can do a dimension and okay so you can adjust oh so that's the I think that's the support yeah that's a support um, we can just do a dimension on the support so you can and then you can ah oh, I want this one to be uh, 100 so I'll just move it down by 50 and then that's it so and you can also go to 3d view to have a look um, these stairs so it's uh, it's still in the stair uh, com command and uh, once you you're happy so you can just check and it will automatically place uh, some handrail on these stairs so um, yeah so this is this is it and also so let's have a look at this one again so um, okay so let's go to south elevation so sometimes you need to number the the trades so we got, can go to annotate uh, here so trade um, tread number so you can just uh, oh how do I do it in elevation maybe maybe we can't do it uh, yes we can <laughs> sorry so I try to uh, move so you can see the line um, yeah it's a bit harder to pick maybe try wireframe WF yeah that's easier to you know and then place it here and place it here so it will number from 1 to 20 okay so um, of course uh, let me just uh, uh, maybe just do some floor so we can I'll just do a floor so use this size okay so this is a floor this is a, 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 a void and a, okay so let's go to 3d view so that's some floor well maybe we don't that we don't need that void on ground floor but I'll just control C and paste it onto the up level so I'll just align with the selected level with which is level one so we have that opening right and then I'll just remove this and finish it so the ground floor so yeah so this um, is so this is the stairs and in floor plan so you can also uh, number the thread I'll go here so I'll just number just and that's it okay um, what else so the 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 balustrade the railing is a little bit um, complicated <laughs> it's, it's it's a little bit hard to to model uh, exactly to match these um, you will need to model individual element so for example these uh, these posts and so actually this one it's a little bit tricky to model a panel look like this but actually I did one very similar um, let me just uh, I'll just, just hang on a sec I'll just quickly find, find, find that video for you so uh, hang, on, hang on I'll just drag so this is my videos I'll see if I can search it. Um, it's a uh, railing, railing. I think it is. I think it is this one. Looks like this one. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. So, so you can see as you can see this one. So quite similar. So actually, you can download this one. I with. Uh, maybe uh, I'll just copy this one here and download it from my own <laughs> hard drive okay so I open this one and let's have a look uh, yeah. uh, is it there oh sorry 
open another rivet. So maybe I'll just find it um, in download. So let's just open this in this rivet. Okay, it's up upgrading it. So now I'm using 2023. Um, so all my old file uh, need to be up, upgraded. So this is it. So this is uh, a, a, a balustrade I, uh, we did uh, previously. So you can see it just uh, it's, it's floating. <laughs> you can add some support uh, here, but it's it, it will uh, it, it will not go uh, to the floor or the, the stairs and also it will follow the slope of the stairs so if you want to so i think this one's very uh, very close to this so as you can see post and that this as a panel okay so uh, so see post and this as a panel and of course you can you can change the the look of this post um, if you want to model this one so you can go to um, where's where is it so day seven seven five five so if you search seven five five you can find that video and okay so now let's go back to um, so this one I think um, it's almost there. So basically, that's the railing. So um, stairs. Okay. So landing. So um, if we um, this one looks like a multi-story, so we can do that. So if you have so this we can't, currently we only have level zero and then level one. So if I copy this one or even just array it, I'll just copy it. CC. Uh, copy a few levels and then so you because we already have this one so we can select this uh, uh stairs this, this set uh, this fly of stairs oops sorry and here we have this option to select uh, uh, levels so you can see these two are half tone so you can't select them but these ones are still solid black color so you can select them finish it so Revit will automatically create all these multi-story uh, uh, stairs and together with the railing and I think what we need to do is we just need to add um, if you wanted to you can add a landing here but because we have this floor maybe I'll just uh, uh, just give it just move it away from the stairs so we have some space for landing um, I'm not sure how we how to do this landing? Let's have a look. And see what's uh, what? How can we add this landing? So maybe I'll tab select this. Um, not. I'll select this multi-level, multi-level, uh, multi-stairs. Uh, uh, there's no option anywhere. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's try tab select this and okay. So. And see, let's edit stairs and add a landing. So it looks like if I click on landing, I, I can't really select the other. Maybe we can just draw wing. So use this uh, sketch and just I'll just go to the top and I'll just draw a, a, a rectangle to match this one. So I'll match use this uh, edge of this uh, tread and. So for this one, I'll just draw it here for now and use a line to, uh, maybe I'll just TL to make a line, the line thinner. Yeah, it's already aligned, I think. Maybe I'll just uh, change the depth. So for example, I want it to be 1.5 and finish. So now let's uh, let's go to 3D. Oh, we are already in 3D view, so let's rotate it a little bit. Uh, maybe we don't need this support here, so I'll see if I can delete it. Delete, yep. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So let's finish it. Okay, so okay, it looks like Revit automatically creates all these landing for us, but uh, something's not right here. So the um, 
the railing so I'll see if I can um, edit uh, uh, where's my sketch here so I'll just delete this and finish yeah so this will change all these so I think it, it's good um, yeah that's that's um, that's it I think uh, so basically these, these are uh, very basic steps so uh, how to create a stair and railing in Revit and then uh, I think all these so you can if, if you look at that that's structure part and also that's um, all the setting of the um, the threads the nosing or the um, Remember. Uh, anyway, so the de all the detail detail of the uh, stairs is you need to go to. So let, let me just um, tab select one of the stairs and edit type. So all these things so are here. So you can go wrong type. So you can go click on this one. So these are the support. So current is a uh, uh, right support, left support is stringer. And if you want to edit the the profile of the, so you can see here uh, the nosing or the um, the tread 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 thickness, which is the the horizontal one, and the riser the vertical one. So you can all change uh, setting here. Okay, so material of the tread, material of the uh, riser vertical one, and that's it. The material, oh sorry, the material for the landing is controlled by here. Here you can change. So usually the same as wrong. Um, yeah, uh, material? Maybe. Oh, so sorry. Once you uncheck that bo a box, you can. Um, yeah. So. You, if you have this same as wrong, so you, you, you can't change the material, so it will always match those threads. If you uncheck this one, you can change all everything, so uh, such as um, thickness, such as uh, the material. So um, I think that's it. Um, so if, if you have anything, uh, any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.